Hi, folks. Welcome back. So for over a decade, Denise has written poetry and successfully authored several volumes of poetry while maintaining blogs on the WordPress platform. This morning, we talked to her about a book called Sudden Death. And we say welcome to Denise Five, who is writer and poet and trainer and all kinds of amazing things. Good Thank morning you. and welcome. Good morning. How do you take what's in your head, structure it, and spit out all of what we have here on the table? Well, writing is a process. You have to use it every day. I tell you, it's like a muscle. You have to use it every day. So it doesn't come naturally at first to put out all of this. I started writing poetry just to get out some of that emotional turmoil that was inside and I was studying so I started writing my papers and all of that and all of that is what you see here now. But they don't cover one topic. I mean some people when they do bodies of work mm -hmm. they're either always writing mystery stuff or they're always writing on one particular topic. I'm looking all over this place and thinking, this woman head going here, there, and everywhere. I, I think a lot. My <laughs> friends say I think a lot and I explore a lot. When I was young, I read everything. And my interest is in everything. And God has given me a gift, and I don't believe in being one-sided or from one perspective. So wherever my interest is in that moment, I explore it. And I've done many things. I've worked in IT. I've been a trainer. And so... I look at all of these things and I write about it. One of the things that she wrote about was thieves in the workplace. <laughs> and I mean, I started to leaf through this thing and there were some real examples of women, men in Jamaica, who robbed them of this blind of all kinds of yes. things. How do you get the information to put together a book like this? And who is it supposed to help? Well, it's, it is supposed to help employers and employees. I worked at an organization where our stuff kept on being missing. <gasps> and that organization actually put policies in place which helped us. Uh, in Jamaica and globally, it's a, I call it a billion dollar industry, mm -hmm. really. Because it's not only money that goes missing, people's laptop, even persons in auxiliary would steal things like you know, toilet paper, soap, all of these things. So especially retailers will tell you that their own employees will steal things like clothes. So it is something that is that affects everybody globally. They just don't talk about it. I do have an interest in finding out, you know, how people um, receive new works, how people receive novels and things like that. Because they say it anecdotally that Jamaicans don't read. They say that, that that's just not one of those things that we do. And you've actually built a career on hoping that people will pick up a book and read it. You've published a whole slew of books. Mm -hmm. You have another one coming out. How do you find the consumption of the material that you write by the Jamaican public? Well, the good thing is that we appeal as writers not only to Jamaica, but internationally as well. Mm -hmm. Jamaicans will take up whatever interests them. So like and when I say thieves, I'm like, mm, yes, what's that? Yes, yes, yeah. definitely. I find a lot of people in the corporate world actually like these books, and I have books for the teacher, you know, the expert teacher's guide. So you have to be able to write to cater to your audience. So I'm a Christian, so I'll put out more Christian books. So I have things like Be Lifted Up, Encouragement. So you have to find a target audience and write for them and in hopes that they will, will identify with it. I've done a couple books on, on, on depression in terms of poetry. And there are a lot of persons who are in the closet as it relates to depression and suicide. And so they will, you know, read something like this. Or if you want to understand the mind frame of somebody going through depression, then somebody will read a book like that. So you have to identify your audience and write for them. The new book coming up, who is it for? Sudden Death. Uh, this is actually a series. I, I, I thought it was one book, but by the time, you know, I got into it, I started to write stories to visualize not only from my own situation, but the stories just kept on coming to me, and I started to write about them. This is for persons who are going through depression, who have contemplated suicide, but also it is for those who want to understand what those persons have gone through. Sudden death, loosening foundations. 
actually explores now from the spiritual perspective what a person is going through. So we're not just taking on the physical or the psychological, but we're going through the spiritual and talking about things like demonic strongholds in your life, generational curses, and exploring those themes so that persons can identify that here. Look, you have a family where the daughter, for example, in my last story, Isis, very controversial, you know, the test reader said, but Isis, her mother was raped and at the end of the day, she also was raped. So this is a fictional character. Yes. However, this is a fictional character that is relatable. So you have met or you know people who go through these yes, kinds of struggles. Yes, most definitely. I'm a trained counselor and I've had persons you know, talk to me about some of these situations. Some persons in secret, not just, you know, just venting. And also, right now, I am actually in dialogue with one male who actually was raped. He, he's not a Jamaican, but he reached out to me. And so the next book in the series will actually be strictly dealing with, you know, persons who have actually dealt with rape and, and exploring those themes and what is happening and their mindset. So it's, it's dealing with some taboo subjects, but those are subjects where people hide them in the closet, but they're dealing with them. And a lot of times people will deal with them in the quiet and secrecy of a book. Yes. Because you may not feel comfortable going out and talking to exactly. someone. Exactly. But reading that book in the quiet space in your own time will help you to exactly. release. So exactly. the book comes out when? When can people get their hands on it? The where? book is actually out online. All the books are online on Amazon, on Lulu.com and Smashwords. A number of the books are available free as well because some persons want to get used to an author before they, they start buying their books. So I cater to those persons as well. And Sudden Death is, uh, is available online, Amazon all the Amazon websites, Lulu, Barnes & Noble, all those sites. And then now, after the holiday season is over, and I'll be getting the physical copies in to Jamaica in January. And persons can, you know, contact me, come on the website, or email me, and I can make the vo books What's even website? deliver. The website is Denise, on the WordPress pla platform, of course. It is denisen5.wordpress.com or the islandjournal.com. Long live the word, keep on writing. Thank you. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I'm seeing way too much of Rohan's body. He's going <laughs> to exercise after this break.